So, so people are asking, Andy, how, how do you feel with all this battery stuff going on in your car? And I'm, I'm getting so many emails and contacts via Messenger and Google Plus and all this. That's, which is good, which is good. I love your emails. Just keep, keep sending emails and contact me on Facebook and Messenger and WhatsApp and Skype, whatever you like. Keep your questions coming. That's fine. And, and I know some people do really care. They really care what is happening with this battery stuff. Of course, we've got some people who don't care, who say this is all crap. This should be stopped. We should not discuss this in the forums anymore. This is not affecting everyone. Please discuss this privately somewhere. And from, from what I can from all these contacts, from all these people contacting me, it, it really seems like it's across all models from 2013 to 2018. There is no exception. The lowest, the lowest mileage I have seen with degradation in the PHEV watchdog is less than 2000 kilometers. And I, I personally how do we say that? I think this this car is extraordinary. It's fantastic. It's great to drive. I love it. I love to drive this car every day. I'm looking forward to any, every single trip I can do with this car driving it. It doesn't have to be all on, on electric. It can be in hybrid, petrol, whatever. Driving this car is fantastic. The technology is Super. See, when you drive on the highway on electric mode, for example, and then it changes over to petrol, it starts a petrol engine, you can see the arrows on the dashboard, and it drives it, it drives the front wheels all of a sudden and charge the battery at the same time and then turns everything back off. You can't feel a thing. There's, there's one little tiny stuttering, but I've asked my wife a couple of times, could you feel that? And she said, always oh, no, what do you mean? So if you don't, if you don't really listen to the car and could feel this little, when when the generator t um, starts the engine, this little hesitation. There's a little tiny, and afterwards everything is back normal. You, you can only feel it if you really listen to the car, if you really feel the car. And this this all works so flawlessly and so majestic. It's insane. I was I was not expecting this from from this car really. I thought there will be more issues with it that you can actually feel when the engine kicks in when the changeover between electric and gas engine is and the other way around. But there's nothing. It's so smooth. If I wouldn't look at the arrows on the dashboard and I wouldn't have the dog, you would not feel it. You would not feel it. The engine is quite Okay, unless unless you drive in serious mode and um, yeah, so below 60, 60 kilometers an hour, it is terrible to drive. The engine is revving up and trying to produce as much electricity as the car actually needs at the moment. And this is this is an unpleasant mode to drive in in this car. So I'm always avoiding this. This is why I'm saying use the safe button, charge your battery, keep your battery charged. When you come in these lower speed areas, use the battery power only. And then when you go on the highway on, on faster roads, use safe and use the hybrid mode. So, but how do I feel? Well, it, it, it is a great car. It is a, a great concept. Even with the only 40 to 50 kilometers you get out of the battery in real world conditions, it is fantastic. It's, it's a good approach to, to bring electric vehicles. It's not expensive to buy and it gives you the best of both both worlds. It gives you the whole feeling of driving electric. Yeah, you get the charging situation experience. You need to find charging stations on your app. Uh, you need to plug in at home overnight. It feels like a real electric vehicle already. And if you only drive short distances every day, you won't use the gas engine much anyway. But this whole battery situation at the moment, with not having the full capacity anymore, after say two years i mean my one was down to 80 percent after 55,000 kilometers this is just not good and sometimes it puts me off it it just i just would like to sell the car as it is just get out of my head get out of my mind and buy a decent electric vehicle which there isn't at the moment here in australia an affordable one 
but then you know you come to work you, you plug in here at the club you can recharge over here I recharge when we go to do the city it's quite nice it's quite nice and when you see the overall consumption of 94 this is 94 percent EV driving for this whole year I mean this is that is amazing so even with this smaller capacity and the limited range of the car you can really achieve a great outcome of driving ability and saving heaps of money you're filling up the car maybe five six times a year in in these conditions now and this is all on petrol you you need 167.6 liters of fuel i have used this year 160 liters that is one full tank for some cars but still this whole battery thing makes me it makes me sad and the worst part is that Mitsubishi obviously doesn't care they are more they are more focused on keeping their image clean to avoid any warranty claims not to get into the public and this is so sad that they are not picking up the dialogue offered by other people saying oh you've got a PHEV you've got problems with your battery we can help you please see your next dealer they do the cell smoothing procedure and your battery will be fine afterwards for another two years they are just not doing it and this is this is exactly their own fault because they publish on their website almost everywhere in the world that the battery is not a service item and it's not supposed to be changed or swapped or replaced anything with the battery it's a totally sealed black box it shouldn't be touched it shouldn't be serviced it shouldn't be maintained nothing and this is the claim they are making but obviously there's something wrong with it and as I said before a couple of times I don't think it's the battery it's more the, it's more software related and I would like to see an outcome like with the Nissan Leaf that we get a software update eventually for all PHEVs out there which fixes this estimation problem of the software and this this is the most disappointing part of it people are watching all my videos me complaining about this battery issue and seeing my state of health is going down all the time and they all think this is a crappy car but I would like one but then I see Andy's videos with the battery problems and everything and so I'm not sure and then they send me emails and I have to explain what's going on what what I think it's going on and and link them to the, all the forums and say look they have a read through all these forums there there is info tons of information out there experience from other people it's not just me I'm just the guy who've got the camera but there are so many other people out there with having the same problem and I just hope Mitsubishi is listening and watching this stuff and fixing it really can't be that hard and this would also mean all these all these cars out there especially in the in, in Europe in the UK and and the Netherlands they are coming back from the first two three four years lease now and the market is basically now flooded with PHEVs and people see okay this is a 2014 2015 model how is the battery I know about the battery stuff but I don't know how good or bad it actually is and it would be great to get all these cars out of the dealerships to the, to the new owners and they keep, they keep driving these exceptional cars we just need to find the cure and and I I probably would really like you my viewers which having similar problems with the cars write an email to Mitsubishi in your country you are in and and explain what is happening with with your personal vehicle over there so make them aware there is something going on with the batteries with the software people are getting frustrated we are getting so many requests for for, for this problem now we have to start looking into a fix and it's it's just not enough if only a certain amount of people are contacting Mitsubishi about this problem we need we need to have everyone on board and I think all these internet forums and and Facebook and Twitter and and YouTube here they are all great places to to share this information and to to mobilize these people and get them on board and say look 
we are the customers. We should be in the spotlight of Mitsubishi and saying, look, there's something wrong with your product. Something is not working as it should be. Fix this. So guys, if, if you want to be part of this worldwide mobilization of customers, please send an email to Mitsubishi. Have a look on their website, send them a message, explain what's going on with your PHEV, why you are not satisfied with the battery management system, with the software, maybe with the battery, with your EV range, explain it. Most likely you will get the same letter as everyone else with an explanation of how battery degradation works, everything is normal and this is not a warranty case, blah, 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 blah. Keep the dialogue open, keep responding to it and say, look, it's not about the battery degradation at all. It's about warranty claims. It's about customer service. It's about just keeping these cars on the road and don't lose any money and make them as efficient as possible. It, it will lock another ticket in the Mitsubishi system. And after a month, they will filter it through and say, oh, we have received so many complaints or so many tickets, help requests for the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV. We probably should look into this. There might be something wrong. It's not just Andy and one or two other guys in Australia who are complaining. This is a worldwide thing now. So we start looking into it and think, oh yeah, there's a software problem. We're rolling out this new software and everything is fine. And we have Andy and the two other guys as happy customers now. And Andy is making positive videos about the PHEV now. Yeah, this is just so, that's potentially how it could work. Okay, I, th I think my uh, lunch break is over now, so um, I have to go. Yeah, let me know what you think. Um, would this work? We are the customers. It should be not up to us to figure out what's wrong with the car why this is all happening. There should be a fix being provided by Mitsubishi. This is my opinion. Okay guys, thanks for watching. We see you guys in the next video. You stay charged. Bye bye.